Hi guys, this is vlog number five and in this vlog we're gonna train in one of the best gyms in the world and with a men's physique champion. Let's go in. So my way to train SF is one of the best gyms in the world for bodybuilders. I've been training everywhere in the world, Miami, China, everywhere and it's one of the biggest gym with the best equipment. I've been training in this gym for two years, but I moved to downtown and I'm not training there anymore, but I miss the machines. It's not the same training in a standard, a normal gym than in this one. The quality of the equipment, the quality of the people is, you can reach another level. And today I'm gonna train with my friend Ali. He's been a men's physique champion, I think three times. Uh, he will explain you later on. And I'm gonna do a session with him, first time training with him. We've been training together in the same gym for two years, but we never had a chance to, to do a session together. Anyway, to do it, we wanna have it. So I'm gonna drive there and, and you're gonna enjoy the session. We'll see, let's go. Here my man, how's it going? You busy? How are you? You want to do the introduction to yourself? Today, uh -huh. We're gonna do chest workout, seven exercise, we're gonna do forearms, and then we're gonna do a little bit of calves. Yeah. You guys will love it. First of all, introduce yourself. Yes, my name is Ali Kassab, <laughs> four times world medalist in men physique, and uh, also I have a degree in civil engineering. Perfect. And we love to engineer the body as well. It's Keep also tuned. a close friend of mine, and it's our first time training. This really? guy has really a beautiful training. heart. Beautiful heart, white heart. We've been, heart, we've white been heart. training uh, for two years in the same gym, and I think we never have a session together. Yeah. Never. And today we're gonna have. Yeah, we'll smash it. So nice to add it into the vlog, right? 100%. 100%. So shall we start then? Yeah, we're gonna do some uh, little bit of warm up. Uh, we're gonna warm up the joints, and we're gonna do some dips. Right, for first exercise, 20 by 4, and then we're gonna start after that with the dumbbells. Let's go to the, so let's get the playroom. Yes, sir. We'll do the warm up. Yeah. So we just finished the warm-up. Uh, what I like most from this gym is they have amazing equipment. We've been training for two years yeah. and I never see similar equipment nowhere else in the world and I've been training 100%. everywhere. So take a look. You have machines here for any single muscle and it's not too complicated to get fit here. You need to... Okay. Okay. So what's the next? Next is we're going to have the oh, incline the dumbbell press. Incline dumbbell press. It's going to be 12 by 4. Uh, the trick over here is not going to be even super heavy and it's not going to be light. All right, but we're going to focus and squeeze at the top, right, where you're squeezing on your chest for two seconds at least. And then you're going to have maximized flex on the, on the, on the chest. And surely we're going to go down and stretch it properly. So, let's get it. Come on. it. This deep strong uh, expert. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's do it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, so this one? Yeah. Thank you. 
So we just finished the first exercise. We did an incline uh, chest dumbbell. Yes. Second exercise. We're gonna be same techniques, but now it's gonna be straight bench. Let's get it. Straight bench. So it's gonna be the same one, but straight. <laughs> you gonna start? Yes. Do it. This guy is not joking, starting with 40 kilos. <laughs> what I realized in this gym, no one is joking, everyone is training really hard. No one check their phones, everyone is taking really seriously the workout. And this is one of these uh, type of person. Really focused, listen to music, listen to music. Uh, always going higher, pushing their limits, not asking me for help. <laughs> nice. Okay, now my turn. I go with 40 directly? Sure. Yeah. Let's get it. Bismillah. Come on, beast. Eight to ten. Let's go. Beast. Champion. Good. All right. A lion. We're gonna increase the weight. No, no. same, same, same. Same. Beautiful. We're gonna focus. Keep the focus. No need to activate the shoulders. So only if your chest is maximized with the weight, that's when you know to, to stop. So we're having the repetition between 8 and 12. We'll have other exercises where we have high repetition. For example, the first exercise when we did dips, it was 20 by 4, right? So we'll have some exercises that will have high repetition. But this one, focus, 8 to 12, fantastic. Let's get it. Okay, second set. Ah, we just finished the second uh, set, the second exercise, yes, and I'm gonna go for the third one. Yes. And I'm just gonna explain you because I'm following him today. today. Dumbbell flies, right? And we're gonna increase the seat just a little. So basically, we're playing with the bench, but in different angles. Level two. Before, level. The inclined was level three. The straight was zero. Now it's level two. Right. And we're gonna go with flies. Actually, between between flies and push. So. It's gonna be have a V shape, right, between your bicep and your arm. Yes. For the cleavage and the mid section, right. So we're working one, two, three. Yes, sir. One, two, three. Yes. Same. That's by the way. You wanna start again? Yes. Start. 28. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Okay. It flies. Absolutely. And the pumping is real. Yeah. Right <laughs> here, huh? Yeah. Let's get it. Already sweat. I dropped the kilo. This exercise much better doing in the right position that a heavy weight. 100% bro. <laughs> so we just want to start the exercise number four 
I'm gonna do a similar one also in the bench, but it's gonna be incline flies, same thing as you can see. Four sets, 14 reps, the medium speed, I would say. And it's not a heavy weight, it's 20 kilos. We put before 40 kilos in the same position, but different exercise. Uh, for this exercise, you don't need like. So, we're gonna start the number, ex uh, number five. Yes, exercise number five. So, we basically divide every session, and totally I will do it. Incline, decline, middle, and sometimes lateral, right? Any muscle, chest can be, or shoulder, or anything else, in blue. Yes. Anything you can divide it for. 100%. And, and now we're gonna do the decline, chest press, right? It's a machine. Good machine. Decline flight. That we will show you later. This is the number six, no? Number six. Five or okay. six super sets. Let's smash it. Let's gonna start. Long time I don't do this machine, and I remember it used to be beautiful when I was training here. I love it. Yeah. This one we're gonna do 12 repetition with this one, and the other one 15 repetition. Super okay, set. let's, let's start then. Alright. Oh Let's my. This is good. Super set. Finish the exercise, we complete the seven exercise for the chest and pump as fuck as you see. You see these lines, this one is the training. So this is how it looks like training with a men's physique champion. He hasn't <laughs> skipped any set and he's training really dedicated. Even with his music and disconnecting the phone. It's all about training. Uh, the difference with this gym and not the gyms. This gym, everyone is so dedicated, everyone is uh, working working out non-stop and just uh, focus on training, like they really take it like a full-time job. In other gyms, people they missing around, talking, music, different different lifestyle. This guy is a beast. Yeah, no, no, you are a beast. I'm the, I'm the amateur. So, so that's it, I mean, it's completely different training in a gym from, for bodybuilders than a, a standard in the different in terms of machines, in terms of people. 
an intense of approach training. People is here very focused, very dedicated, they have results, they win in everything, it's normal. It's a full-time job for them. So, as I said, we just finished. I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna do like a, a small interview, but I'm gonna ask him a few questions about last year, his champion scene and everything, so maybe you can find interesting this information. So we just finished the training, and the poor guy is sitting here, and I need to ask him a few questions. And he also needs to start working and stuff, so I'm gonna be quickly with the questions. Wait for it. So, here again. Uh, I prepared a few questions for my good friend. Yeah, and the first one is, when did you start training and why? Well, I started training in uh, 2012, okay, and I was motivated by my, my older brother, which was already training since 2017, and I could see him, like, you know, getting bigger, having a nice physique, um, his, uh, what is it called, what was saying? His confidence become more and more, so I wanted to try it, and he introduced me to the gym, mm -hmm. right? And I started training as a hobby, basically, right? Uh, there was no diet, not proper diet, since from 2012 all the way to 2016. And then I was introduced by proper coaches. One of them is uh, Ibrahim, Captain Ibrahim and Captain Salah Tahir al amri Right, big coaches, uh, I mean, uh, around the world, okay? And uh, they taught me how to compete for the first time in my life. In 2016, it was November, Dubai Muscle Show. Um, I was 6% body fat, my physique was perfect, alhamdulillah, but I didn't know what to do on stage, so um, didn't go far with that, right? Second competition I did it, it was after, I think, 7 months, 2017, it was Dubai Beach Muscle Show, 37 competitor, and I was like, you know what, if I do top 6, fantastic, and I did my absolute best, and I went, went for it, and surprisingly, I got first place. Right, and that was the first gold medal. And after that, alhamdulillah, I got three more gold uh, medals. I competed in the World Championship in Fujairah. I competed in Mr. Olympia Amateur India in Mumbai. I remember. And um, it's been a bless. It's been a bless, you know. What else we have? Amazing. Second question. How did you become main uh, men's physique champion? I think you explained before. So yes. that's my second question. Yes, yes, anyway, yes, yes, covered yes. anyway. Uh, last one. Any tips for people they want to follow your step? For the people honestly, who are watching you. Honestly, I want honestly. to be a uh, men's physique like you. I want to have your body. Okay. Any tips for me? See, um, the thing is, when you're, when you're preparing for a competition, men's physique, if it's IBB Pro League or it's IBB League or any competition, don't look at the people who are competing against you. Honestly, you will fit yourself out. No need to look who's against you, right? You do your absolute best, and uh, you gotta be in a really stable mental mental state, right? Don't freak out, do your best, do your homework, do your training, don't cheat on your training. And you know what? Most of the time I was training with my hoodie. As you can see, when I was training, uh, don't training show with my hoodie, I don't wanna show anything, yeah. right? Later on, when I go on stage, they will be like, oh wow, it's under this construction, really under, <laughs> yeah, it's under construction under the hoodie, right? Like, I don't like to interact with a lot of people, I like to focus on my training, and I have one or maximum two people that I go to them when I need advice, right? And that's it. And everything else is putting in the work, right? You wake up, you put it in the work. Don't overthink it, you smash it, you do your homework, you do your plan, Make sure you're planning every single day. So when you're preparing to non physique championship, you prepare every single day what you're gonna do with your training, with your food. So you just wake up and you just go through them. You know, you don't need to think much. The plan is very important. Now when you go on stage, you have to have that energy that pass through the judge, mm -hmm. to the judge. You might not have the best physique on the stage, that's all right, you still can get first place, how? With your energy. If you're smiling and you're giving positive energy and the judge can feel it, right? Sorry, 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 but the battery ran out, so I couldn't do anything. I just started again. Um, uh, he was saying the last uh, sentence or the last uh, seconds of the, this small question that I asked him. 
It's uh, how to get there and uh, how you became a champion and not like uh, the second position, the third position. It was not easy for him at the beginning. He reached the first time like a four or five position, he said, then the third one and then the first one, the last, uh, the last option. So he was trying really hard. And something really interesting is he was saying, I focus what I'm doing, so I don't show my physique to anyone. I just focus on myself and I don't care about my what my friend is doing or what this guy is doing uh, near to me. So I think it's really important because if you focus on what's doing someone else, you're not gonna focus on yourself and you're not gonna reach that level, it's impossible. So it's a good tip, I really love uh, Ali, he's an amazing guy and one of the most um, dedicated guys that I ever met in the industry, honestly. He's fully training, fully commit always with his meals and uh, training, so it's basically his life. It's not my case, um, not that amateur, not that uh, pro, I'm in the middle, and I like this uh, balance in my life. No, like a uh, super dedicated, no, like amateur, so I'm something in the, in the middle. And I really enjoy it, and completely happy with my performance and everything. And that's it. Um, hopefully you'll, you enjoy the training, this is the end of the vlog <laughs> and thank you for watching me and I will coming up with something next week. Thank you.